Hi, welcome to uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel. I always forget what the game's called. We are finding Nell, the secret raid boss. When you kill Deadlift, uh, you will get this mission called, I forget, Lost Requests, where you've got to uh, do something for a dude who's fallen, you get an echo, and it says, to, can you send his, uh, can you send his echo or something somewhere? Anyway, you've got to jump on top of this building here. It's all marked pretty obviously with station markers, but I just wanted to run through it. It's not explicit, though, so I sped it up and cut quite a bit. So you hit that, then you've got to kill a dude called Squat, who was on top of a building next to uh, a jump pad. We just came from over there. Um, and now we are here. That's where the last checkpoint was up there. There's Squat there. Uh, you may notice he's level 4, I'm level 47. I've come back to normal mode to do this. Uh, I always do when I'm trying challenges and exploring for the first time, just because survivability is better. Uh, I can always come back in Vault Hunter mode when I know what I'm doing. Uh, but there's the last part of the quest. It's called Nella Dick. Uh, and he goes, anyway, uh, that was, I thought, the end of that until I was jumping around. There is um, the uh, reward for the quest. Uh, and now we're going to go jumping uh, up here. So if you jump onto this pipe and then do a running leap off this way, uh, and then just boost it when you're kind of at the apex and you'll land on there quite comfortably, and then just jump here once and then boost forward. And just take your time to sneak around there, that's a pretty easy jump. The next one's the tricky one. And up here you will find a D sign. Don't forget the crate. Boop. There. I normally shoot them and shoot that one. Uh, and there's the K. Sorry, not the D. Um, and there's Nell. So we've just come directly up from him. Now we're going over to get the D from uh, here. That's where we are there, see, on top of this building. Uh, we're going to go straight over there, and actually if you've got a sniper rifle on, you can pull your zoom in there, and you'll see it flashing up there. Uh, now you want to drop down here, and well you don't, I mean you've got to drop off, I got some air, and then just cut ahead to here. Uh, you want to shoot that, which creates a vent, so that you can jump up onto that pipe there. Uh, the vent also gives you air, you'll see my air going back up when I fail a couple of these jumps, I think. Um, so you always want to be doing this with full air. So if you fall off, come back, make sure you've got full air before you go up, fill up off of that steam pipe. Uh, you want to come around here and jump up onto this. You want to jump away to the left first and then boost to the right. And if you fall off, it's no big deal, it's safe down there, you're not going to die. Just jump back up. Don't forget to fill back up on air. And then come back for another go. And I won't show you all my fails, don't worry. I just wanted to demonstrate how to get back. So jump out to the left and then boost to the right and you'll land on here. It's a pretty safe jump. You can hit that thing right in front of you. Now I look down here, you're going to be jumping up, up, and then tap left twice. That one's quite easy, it's quite wide, it's easy to land on. Now you want to go to the left, but not too much. I went too much. Uh, and I went too much a few times. So jump up there, and then just tap to the left like that. That's it. Uh, and then you are going to want to jump up there. You want to jump out to the right and then to the left again. Uh, boost to the left. And then come around here to the right. It's possible you can go to the left, I don't know. Uh, there's a bit of an invisible wall there, so you need to edge yourself around to the right. Don't miss the crate. Boop, there, so you shot that one. And get the D. And then we're going to head back to that IC sign, which is over there. I've put that marker there, but it's nowhere near it. <laughs> uh, we just saw where we were standing. Anyway, come over here. Don't forget to get air on the way you've probably run out doing all that jumping around. Uh, so I got air there and air here. And uh, then I paused to kill some guys because they respawned. Uh, but you basically want to jump up to that IC sign, which you'll see now has these white things in front of it. Uh, the D and the C can be dropped in place. Like up the brightness there, just so you get the full effect. Uh, and then turn around and you, well, you'll hear Nell screaming. But if you head up this way, you'll see him running away. Shoot his feet. You don't have to shoot his feet. Uh, and he'll charge off over there. Now you can follow him. It's probably a smart move to follow him, otherwise not much else is going to happen. And he'll spawn a bunch of bad guys. Now I've cut most of this fighting. Uh, there he is there. He's not going to get involved until you've killed... It was just me, so there was, I guess, about 15 little guys and then maybe two or three badasses. And then he came with a couple of friends. Uh, again, he's only level 28, uh, so he will spawn level 28 on normal mode, uh, no matter the level of the area. Um, and on Vault Hunter mode, probably he's going to come in at 51. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but then you'll kill him, and on occasion... Uh, he will drop some loot. I got lucky. It was only my fifth time. But if you saw my, um, was it the Twister and Om Nom Knock from the Borderlands 2 DLC? I did that 137 times. It was ridiculous. And then got three in a row, three twisters in a row. Anyway, this is the Sia Sia Skull Masher. And I took this footage. Obviously, I wasn't recording when I killed him. Um, and it's a low level one because I was doing normal mode. Um, 
and I came back to cut this footage later. Uh, but you can see it does a what, one, two, three, four, five shots at the same time, or six, I think it says in the description. Um, but I'm now on True Vault Hunter mode foolishly without realizing, and I thought I'd go and take this thing out for a, a test drive to show you what it can do. And on normal mode, doing 1500 damage with a non critical is serious business. Um, here it's against a 51 level, god knows what, searing Kragan emulator. Uh, and obviously he's easing me for breakfast and I died. <laughs> um, but it's an amazing sniper rifle, so it's definitely worth farming for one, because it's not actually that hard to spawn once you get the hang of those jumps. You can um, clean that up quite quickly. Anyway, on the left is. Uh, oh, what's that? The secret monolith in Stanton's liver. And on the right, uh, Serenity's Waste Badass Challenges. Uh, so choose your next adventure wisely, my friend. Anyway, that's it from me for now. I will speak to you in the next one. Bye bye!